Hey guys, Norm over here for another Vintage Guitar Minute, and we just got some really cool stuff, so I just thought I would show you um, just some really outrageous stuff. This is a 1959 Epiphone Coronet. It has the original tags with it. Um, what's really cool about this is like a junior. It's the thickness of a junior. It has a New York style pickup with a Bakelite or uh, Catalan edge here, the old style knobs. Uh, the Maestro Vibrola Epiphone plaque up at the top. This is a very rare, very unusual guitar. You hardly ever see these. Um, much, much rarer than any TV Junior or anything like that. An original black finish. Serial numbers up at the very top there, inked on. So, uh, proud to have this baby here. It's got its original case, kind of alligator-ish looking. So this next guitar is of major, major importance, this piece. Um, it's got its original fitted case. But what's really amazing about this, this is a 51 Fender Telecaster. And it's this is the picture of the inside of the neck. This thing is so clean, it's ridiculous. And it's number 0942. This is possibly what well, could be the first Telecaster ever made with the Telecaster logo, or it's got to be in the first batch of Telecasters ever made, because this serial number kind of overlaps with the broadcasters and Telecasters. Um, you know, generally anything under a thousand is a broadcaster, but this is a Tele, and it's a 1951. It's in remarkable condition with the original strap, original case. This is a picture of the original owners with the guitar and it's just ridiculous um, one thing with this guitar just so anybody knows this pickup here has been rewound um, a lot of the times they have a dark circuit and a lot of times people think the pickup is weak and they'll have them rewound and it's because it's a dark circuit so it sounds weak anyhow with just a slight mod these pickups come alive so the pickups putting out full power this pickup is ridiculously cool somebody who wants this guitar is going to have a major piece of memorabilia right here look at this thing take a look at this guitar this is one of the cleanest ones i've ever seen brass bridge pieces flat pole pickup uh, the black guard, um, not the um, uh, Phillips screws, but the flathead screws. And this thing is cleaner than clean. And uh, it's got a little weather checking and stuff, but that's to be expected. This thing is completely out of control. And uh, the guitar that I love, it's got the... Uh, The original uh, cover plate with the solder in here. That's what they had on these really early uh, fenders, the black guards. So this thing is completely out of control. This is a major guitar. We've got to give it major spotlight on this thing. This case is really nice. Doesn't get too much better than this. And this has got to be one of the very first guitars that were marked Telecaster. Um, and the story is, is there was the Broadcaster. Gretsch had the name Broadcaster wrapped up. So um, what, what ended up happening was they contacted Fender and said, you can't use the name Broadcaster anymore. So what they did was they clipped the decals. So they just said Fender and uh, clipped the broadcaster off the decals. And then uh, those were referred to as a no-caster. And those are generally between 1,000 and 2,000 serial number. This one is under 1,000, and it's marked Telecaster. So a lot of times back in the day, they would pull a neck and a body out, and they'd put it together. And it didn't go in necessarily in the, in the same order where everything was going by the numbers. So this is one of the earliest Telecasters on the face of the earth and it's in pristine condition for a guitar this age. Doesn't get much better. Okay, this next guitar is uh, an anomaly. It's one of the craziest 
things ever, okay? This is a 1964 ES345. Gold parts, it's got the Maestro Vibrola, uh, ABR1, custom made plaque, but what's really unusual about this, it's in a walnut finish. This predates the walnut finishes, which I believe came out in 68. So this is probably the first walnut ES ever made. And, uh, you know, it's got the gold tuners, um, just in beautiful shape. Got a few little marks, but very clean and uh, doesn't get too much nicer than this. Um, and again, this probably is the first walnut ES ever made. That would be my guess because it predates uh, most of the walnuts by about four years. Almost looks black. It's so dark. Really cool. Wide neck. All the stuff that you would want. Original case. Okay, guys. So next we have, this is an Epiphone professional and this guitar has all these different buttons here for different sounds and all kinds of uh, you know possibilities sound wise single pickup uh, very similar to like the Johnny Smith pickup like a mini humbucker it's got the cool neck I mean it's that's the neck like of a 63 64 335 of course this is Gibson made very beautiful condition um, cherry red finish and these came with an amplifier the professional amp that kind of uh, works in tandem with this and it's it's very cool setup um, just one of the oddball things that they did back in the day and uh, you know proud to have this thing and it's in its original gray case the blue interior.